Since Nigeria's adult learning program has been greatly affected thanks to the COVID-19 global pandemic. Since the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, more than 40 million students have been affected, including adult learners, according to the country's education in emergencies working group. Some instructors initiated online learning classes to support their students despite the economic challenges. Here's more details of that in this report. 39-year-old Elizabeth Alabanji is studying with her friend Blessing Eromosele at home rather than in school because adult learning centers are shut because of the pandemic. Elizabeth says she had always wanted to go through school at a young age, but her parents couldn't sponsor her at the time. Now, she says she wants to give education her best shot. I'm back in school now, so I can also assist my children in their academics, help them with their homework, and also get a better job. That's why, despite the coronavirus, I'm studying at home with my friend, so I don't lose touch with my education when school finally resumes. Nigeria's Emergency Education Working Group says school closures as a result of the pandemic will affect about 46 million students, including adult learners, throughout the country. Many adult learners facing tough economic challenges say they may not be able to afford to continue with their studies. I like school very well, but with the outbreak causing so much hardship, I think my focus now is to look for money to take care of my family and not school. In pre-pandemic Nigeria, some adult learning classes happen in the evenings and are hosted at regular school buildings. Many adult learning centers across the country like this have been shut since the outbreak began. The more the centers remain closed, the more the educational sector takes a hit, both for the adult learners and their instructors. Good afternoon, Mrs. Shey. Moyo Tejiri is holding an online teaching session with one of her students. She says the absence of students has greatly affected her well-being and dampened her passion for teaching. Everyone is doing one or two things, but no one is teaching as it is, so there is no money. And we can't tax them to pay because um, this um, adult, most of, them, most of them have families, you know, that, are, that, are, that, they depend, that depend on them. So they have to also cater for the bills of their family. So telling them to pay money for an extra class is going to be, you know, um, bothersome on them. So um, we just have to find a way to survive. Experts say it's high time the government took drastic steps to reposition the education sector for greater heights after COVID-19. The government should fund the sector. The government should make sure that there is they have a structure that makes education work in Nigeria. We can, we can, we can. They can, they can get from the template from other countries. See how it's working there and try and you know bring it home here and make it work for us because everyone needs to be educated. Youth. The Nigerian government has taxed its emergency education working group with the responsibility of ensuring an effective and safe return for learners and teachers after the pandemic. That could ensure millions of adult learners like Elizabeth and Blessing gain access to better paying jobs as well as interact better in the society. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic adversely affected adult learning in Nigeria.